Yeah, I can't believe I got like 10 hole in ones in a row. Oh, hey everyone, how's it going? My name's Chief Pat, and today we're gonna be playing some Golf Clash on my YouTube channel. If you guys didn't know, golf is one of my favorite sports to play, besides basketball, I guess. And uh, even though I'm not very good at it, doesn't mean I can't play it on my iPad and get good at it. So today, we're gonna be playing some Golf Clash and uh, hopefully dominating our opponents off the tee. So if you guys wanna play Golf Clash, I'm gonna throw a sponsored link to download it in the description below. It just came out, it's super fun. I know that Nick and Molt have been playing it, and uh, honestly, it's a lot of fun for me. So I'm gonna show you guys how to play today, and uh, let's go ahead and get to it. So as you guys can see, there's a very similar outline here in the very beginning, but let's just play some golf and uh, show you guys exactly how to play. So you can play 1v1, you can play first your friend, but since I don't have any friends, I'm just gonna go ahead and hit the tour, find an opponent, and uh, let me show you guys how exactly this game works. It's really easy to pick up, and then there's a little bit of complications when it comes to, you know, putting a little backspin on your ball, what type of ball you wanna play, what type of club you wanna play, but all in all, it's really fun. Um, and the progression, I'll show you guys in a second, is a very straightforward and a really cool way to play the game. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. You're gonna find an opponent near your tour level and ha who has a similar, I guess, trophy count to where you're gonna be. And it looks like I'm gonna be going first, so let's go ahead and make our way off the tee. All right, so we're gonna be playing the driver off the tee. And as you can see, you've got your course, and this one's actually a really long course, and we got matched up with Carla. So I'm gonna go ahead and play my driver, make sure everything's gonna be straight. And then to take a shot, you're just gonna drag the golf ball back. And then as soon as it's lined up in the center with the target, you're gonna let it rip. And you can also like pull back farther, but it makes it harder to hit the center. But pretty much what you're trying to do against your opponent, you have a 1v1 battle and it's only a single hole and whoever has the lower score on the hole, obviously if you guys have never played golf before, you're trying to get the lowest score possible, uh, the lowest amount of hits it takes to actually make it in the hole is the winner. And if no one wins off the hole, if it's tied like let's say four shots to four shots, you go into a sudden death where the closest shot to the hole wins. You just take one shot at the hole, whoever's closer ends up winning the game. All right, so let's get to it. Obviously, I don't want to lose on the video I'm making for this, so this, this would be pretty embarrassing. So, Carla, I'm hoping you uh, don't go too hard on me. It looks like she's going to be teeing off right here. And uh, let's go ahead and see. So, in your bag, you have a bunch of different clubs that you can actually collect, and you can end up upgrading them to improve their statistics. Uh, so, think of it as in Clash Royale, where you get cards, and then you can upgrade your cards, like the Goblin, Spear Goblins, whatever. And then as you upgrade them, they get more powerful. Same thing in this game to where you upgrade your golf clubs, and they ended up doing... Uh, they end up going farther, they can be more accurate, you get a bunch of different things that can happen. And let's just go ahead and get ready to make our approach shot. Great, Great not shot. perfect. Never said I was a perfect golfer. I'm actually really bad in real life, but it's really fun to play. But uh, let's keep making our way to the hole and I'll show you guys that after the uh, battle. So actually getting into the quote unquote battle or match against your opponent, you end up anteing gold. So I have to pay 800 gold. And in this case, Carla pays 800 gold and then it goes into a pot. So 1600 gold, look at that math right there. And then the winner gets all of the money. You can see 1.6K gold on the top. So you're wagering money every single time you go into uh, a match and uh, the winner end up take Winner ends up taking all of it, and then obviously the trophies go back and forth depending on who's the higher trophy count and uh, stuff like that. So you use gold to upgrade your clubs, you use gold to do everything you wanna do inside of the game. You can buy stuff from the shop. And it looks like we're pretty even right now, but it's all about who has the best short game. And uh, let's see how we can do this. All right, so when I squared up, especially getting to the uh, to the green, I wanna make sure I don't, sh you don't wanna shoot it like right at the flag or else it's gonna bounce away. You wanna make sure it has some room to bounce. So let's play it right here. I'm gonna do it like this. That one's great, not great perfect, job. but it should be right on line. And as it bounces, okay, just a little bit past the hole, but that's gonna be pretty nice good. Job. We should have a pretty easy putt, and uh, we're just gonna bank on Carla messing up. Let's see what happens. Let's get our club ready in preparation for Carla. And then let's see what happens with this next one. If we go into sudden death, I'm actually been pretty bad at sudden death uh, because yeah, it's just one shot closest to the bin wins. I think most of the, I may have like a 45% chance or 45% win rate when it goes to sun death. All right, let's see what Carla does first though. She's aiming it right at the target. It's looking pretty good. We just gotta make sure, oh, there's wind going three miles. So you gotta look for the wind. If the wind's going to the left, you obviously wanna aim it a little bit more uh, the other way. Let's see what Great she's gonna shot. do. That actually looks pretty dang good. Well, normally when you win, you get a chest. And if you win, you get a pin towards your pin chest. If you get eight pins, you can open up your chest with clubs, everything inside of it. Let me just open up a silver chest for you guys. Pretend that last match never happened. And we'll get into one more before the end of this video. We're gonna get coins, we're gonna get the rough cutter. We have a bunch of different types of clubs. Some are better than others. You've got balls as well. And as we move over to our bag, you can see all the different type of clubs you can unlock, uh, whether it's your driver, your woods, your irons, uh, your wedges, and then your putter. 
but you get a bunch of different stuff. And then as you collect the clubs, you can end up upgrading them. So we have enough Vipers to upgrade it to the next level. And as we upgrade it, we're going to get four more yards of power. We're going to get 10 more, uh, I guess, statistics for curl and then a little bit of ball guide as well. So as you upgrade them, they become better and better. And it's a very similar progression pattern that you guys might notice from uh, Clash Royale. Now, as we hit up the shop, or as we hit up, sorry, the gift tab, you guys can invite other people to play. So if you're friends with people on Facebook who play, you can send friends requests to people and you can end up giving each other gifts, which is pretty nice. I have no friends, uh, unfortunately, but uh, yeah. And also, like I said, there's a shop. So if you wanna buy stuff from the shop, you can buy wedges, rough irons, uh, you can buy whatever. It changes every single day, as well as the chests. Obviously, you can buy chests, you can buy gems, you can buy balls, you can do whatever. But let's get some redemption right now. I'm really salty after that last bat or that last match. But however, I did make a really nice chip in. I think maybe 30 minutes before I started this video. So uh, I guess Carla had a little bit of revenge for me. If I play Carla again, it's going to be pretty upsetting. But uh, let's get to it. So if we win, we win nine trophies. If we lose, we lose six trophies. Entry fee is 800. And uh, let's just go ahead and keep to it and to see if we can make our way there. So hopping into the match, it looks like we're gonna be facing off against Magnus. That's a very Swedish name, I'm gonna guess, but let's see what he's gonna end up doing. Uh, this hole, I can't move it right now because it's not my turn, but you can check out the whole entire uh, hole if you want to when it's your turn. And depending on your ball, you can have like four spin, you can have back spin, uh, depending on if you want the ball, go, ball to go further, then you want four spin, it'll roll, far, roll farther. And if you have back spin, then it'll make it stop in place. So when, generally when you're shooting towards the hole on the green, uh, that's how you can make it happen. All right, decent shot from Magnus, but our driver is actually pretty well upgraded, so we should be able to smash it. Let's see how far we can get this one. And at 264 yards, I don't think that's going to cut it against against the, the chief right here. All right, let's do it. So we got the driver out, the extra mile. And which ball do I want to play? I'll play the kingmaker. This is what I've been playing. Let's get ready. There's a perfect one. All right, this one should be dead center. Hopefully it won't go into the rough because I didn't hit it too far. We'll have to see what happens with that. And... I'm just too strong. I guess my character in the game is too strong. 315 yards. Magnus, my boy from Sweden, not hitting it too far. I don't know if he's from Sweden. All right, Magnus. Man, this is going to be pretty hard from the hole. I can make, hope I can make it there. So if you hit it in the rough, you have to use your rough iron to hit it out of it, uh, which obviously doesn't hit it as far. Whereas if you're on the fairway like Magnus is, you can use your wood, which will go way farther. So this is, it actually gets pretty tough in this game. Like if you make one mistake on a hole, generally you're in a lot of trouble. I feel like around the green, people are pretty good at putting. Um, which again, I don't know how much you guys know about golf, but putting is, you know, obviously you guys have gone mini golfing. So you Great guys probably shot. know what putting is. Um, oh, he's, I thought that was going to go into the water. That would have been super good. That probably would have been like the end of the game. If you hit in the water, uh, yeah, that's not very good at all. You basically waste a turn. All right, let's see what we can do. I have to use our rough iron. Maybe we can slam it. So if you do it pretty hard like this, it makes it really inaccurate though. That's the problem. Oh, that was actually a really good shot from Great us. Let's shot. see if we can make it onto the green. Come on. Okay, better not roll. Okay, that's not too bad. So he hit it in the bunker. We hit it right here in the fairway. So we're keeping pretty decent pace right here. Let's see if we can make our way into the hole. Maybe we can chip it in. That would be the dream. But he has a pretty clean shot with the sandwich. So this might not be all too bad for him. So this one might go into sudden death if neither of us can chip it in the hole right here. But he's got it lined up pretty well, actually. So we'll see what he can end up doing. And the arrow's going a little crazy being in the sand, so he's not going to get the Great perfect shot. shot. But that's still going to be pretty makeable as far as a putt goes. All right, let's let's say a prayer to Tiger Woods. See if we can make our way in, and let's see what we can do. So you don't want to hit it too hard. I want to put a little bit of touch on this. Let's try it like this. Let's try this. Get in the hole. Great shot. Uh, ooh. They do slow-mo when you get really close. All right. Well, it, let's see if he makes his putt. We're going to make our putt. I've never missed a putt that short in my life. So we'll see what, if we're going to have to go into sudden death to see who determines this one. Magnus, what do you have? So putting, you have to, if you drag the ball back, then you can see. We didn't get a chance to putt during the last one. Thank you, Carla, or whatever your name was. Um, but you drag the ball back, and then you have to, you know, accurately uh, make sure it lines up with the hole. Okay, that's a pretty good putt from him. So we're going to just have to make sure we line it up. I'll show you guys on my turn. Uh, putting actually is pretty fluid and simple. I like the putting system in this game. Sometimes in like the Tiger Wood games on like PlayStation, I have PS4. It gets a little bit annoying, but let's see. All right. Well, I don't need to drag it around and look. Come on. Here we go. So you just drag it back. 
and then the blue line lights up and when it goes over the hole that means you just have to line up the arrow when it goes by and boom you make it in the hole no one gets hurt all right so we're gonna go into sudden death so like i described you have to make it closest to the hole to end up winning inside of sudden death um I feel like I played pretty decently after the first shot went into the rough. That was really my biggest problem because if it didn't go into the rough, I could have used the wood and made it onto the green. All right, let's keep going. So let's see what we can do. We got a shootout. Closest shot to the pin wins, like I talked about. I'm going first, apparently. So let's see what we can do. We've got the wood, which we don't need. Let's use our long iron. So we've got the long iron. We're going to get a little bit of bounce on it. Um, there's a little bit of wind, though. So let's use the aerial cam and move it a little bit forward. It's a lot about setting up your shot to make sure everything's going to be lined up okay. Let's see. Perfect shot. It's all about if we lined it up correctly. Let's see. After it bounces once in the rough, it's going... How's that? That is decent. That's not, you know, the best shot. Oh, wait. Okay, that was a really good shot. Never mind. The rollback. I didn't actually even look at the green. 1.69 yards from the pin. Really good. All right, Magnus, what you got? Let's see if he's gonna go full Viking on us. What you got, Magnus? Uh, he obviously got to see my shot and how it played out, so keep that in mind. And he's using his wood, though. He might not switch to his iron, which if he doesn't, then he is gonna be in trouble. So the woods, they go like sort of flat and they don't get as high, so when they hit the green, they're just gonna fly off. So yeah, he's gonna switch to his iron like I did. And uh, it's all a matter of waiting right now. All right, clubs in hand. Let's see what we can do. All right, Magnus, for 1.6K, Let's see what he's got. He's gonna line it up. He's got ten, nine seconds left. If you don't go quickly enough, then your turn ends. Magnus has seven seconds left. He's gotta feel a little bit of pressure. Five, four, okay, and a perfect, perfect shot. shot. Come on, stay away. I think we got it. I think we got it. Nice on. Booyah, 3.51 yards from the pin. That's gonna be a W for us. We're gonna end up taking nine trophies. Like I said, he's gonna lose six, as well as guess what? We get all the mula, and we're gonna end up getting a tour three silver chest. Very nicely done. Uh, we can go ahead and start opening up. Well, actually, we get, we get a platinum chest that we can open. That's 12 hours. The silver chests are three, uh, and yeah. That is pretty much it for Golf Clash, guys. Really fun game today. It's coming out soon, uh, and I hope you guys want to try it out. If you do, I've got a sponsor link in the description below you can check out. Um, and yeah, try it out. Let me know what you guys think. It's a lot of fun. I'm going to keep grinding away on the fairway and uh, being a wed way better player inside of my game than inside of real life. All right, well, that's going to do it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, I will see you guys later. Peace out.